Hey, this is Dr. Chapel. I'm a family physician in Farmington, Utah. I have a message about the coronavirus and the war on this thing. Cases are at an all-time high today with 225,000 cases in the United States today. We have 1.5 million deaths in the last nine months, 271,000 in the U.S. It is now the number three cause of death behind heart disease and stroke. Hospitals are full. The morgues are full. We don't have a room enough even to take care of our own dead right now in some places. And it is getting worse. We need to do something right now to slow this down. I have a message to educate about why I think this is spreading so quickly and what we can do. In my observation, I think that not everybody understands exactly how a virus is spread and this particular virus is spread. It's either that or nobody, nobody cares about the suffering and death that's going on around them. But when it's you or your family member, it's gonna be different. So the biggest thing I wanna emphasize is the incubation period. This is the time from when someone is infected with a virus to when they show symptoms. And this time is important because I believe this is the time when you're feeling totally healthy. You don't have a single symptom. You're spreading it to your family. You're spreading it to your friends. You're spreading it to your coworkers and everyone around you. And that is how the virus continues to spread. Let me tell you how a virus is spread in general. A small particle of RNA or DNA is enveloped in a small protein. It's carried on a respiratory droplet floating in the air from another person within a certain distance of you and you breathe it in through your nose, through your mouth. You might touch something and then touch your nose or your mouth. Once you've breathed it in, it goes into your cells and starts using your own cells machinery to replicate itself and make more virus. And then it gets out and goes to someone else. It takes about 10 minutes for that DNA RNA cell to get in your body and start to infect or replicate. It takes about 10 hours for it to make new uh, virus. When we breathe, when we talk, the virus is expelled with every breath you take for about three to four feet of distance. When you, when you cough, it can go four to six feet. When you sneeze, even violently, it can go up to 23 feet, unless you're wearing a mask. Wearing a mask stops it right here. If that respiratory droplet with all those vi millions of virus part viral particles gets out and does not go into another human being, it dies. It goes away. It becomes what we call denatured within a very short period of time. But the reason why it's going so fast, it's spreading all around. It's not necessarily those that are sick, they get put in quarantine, they stay home. No, it's what happened the days before. And that's the pre-symptomatic spreading of the coronavirus. There are also probably lots of asymptomatic spreaders or folks that have the virus. It replicates, it spreads, it goes to others, and they still had no idea they even had it um, because they never showed symptoms. That's probably a minority, but it does happen. I think we're spreading it more because of the pre-symptomatic spreaders. The incubation period of coronavirus is two to 14 days. So for two to 14 days, you're giving it to your loved ones, to your friends, to your family, and you are not sick. This is how it keeps going. It's just between one person to another. So how do we stop it or slow it down? We follow those simple guidelines because 
if you are wearing outside of your own home and with your own family, if you're wearing a mask, you're staying six feet or more apart from other people when you go out, and you're not engaging in uh, certain social activities where you're going to be close to people and staying home a lot, you're not going to spread the virus. We must do something now or it will just get worse and it's going to get worse. Imagine that everyone you see outside of your own family already has the coronavirus. They're just not showing symptoms yet and follow the guidelines.